So the engineering pathway is a way of applying math that you normally would take a geometry class to sit in the back of the room and kind of listen to what somebody's saying. You can actually put it to use to building towards a bridge, so your principles of, of angles and degrees. Then your second class would be a physics class where you get to apply it to things like shooting rockets and things of that nature using equations to find a target. So uh, we did a lab called the Red Tone Rocket. So what we did is we took what we learned in the classroom and we apply it to real life. So we went into the, the practice fields and we shot a, 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 like a, I think he was like a one meter long red rocket off of like air compression. So we, we tried to find out like uh, how far he would shoot down, if it would match like our in theory calculations. I love the interaction of students when their eyes pop open and they say, hey, I, I get that, that makes total sense. And, so that's the, that's the fun part of the class. And then actually applying it too. I mean, it's not often you get to use your quadratic equation to shoot an orange. Your third class would be a, an engineering class which would help you get to uh, designing a process. How do you take your, your dreams and turn it into a reality through applications? Mr. Wilgren makes the class exciting because of all the, we do some stuff that I don't know how it works, but it works and then we do stuff that you can easily explain, so it just makes it exciting. There's a wide variety of engineering careers if you follow the engineering path. There's biomedical engineering, there's computer engineering, civil engineering, if you want to, that's with bridges and things, if you want mechanical engineering, almost anything that, that gets done in a technology way uh, requires some sort of design and application of mathematics towards that design, and that's engineering. 